Uh, we have a minute. Yes. Hope you guys are having a great morning at home. Uh, the view that you see, you can see Shahadri Mountains right there. Uh, I'll show you more of the view uh, at later point. But the weather is just awesome. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's not cold. It's not warm. Slightly breezy it was. Yes, it still is breezy. So it's a beautiful morning here. Great, we already have 62 of you here. Yeah, we have a minute. Hello, Girija ji. Good to have you here. Welcome to ABCD with Praveen. Okay, today I am not going to switch on your audio. What I did was yesterday I switched on your audio for a bit and uh, that actually created a lot of noise because uh, you know, uh, 115 people uh, there and, and uh, more than a dozen talking together. It uh, actually creates a lot of uh, cacophony and uh, that uh, basically I was not audible because I, I, I went through the recording of yesterday. So today, uh, hope it's okay with you if I am uh, not put, you putting your audio on, right? Because I want everybody to hear me. Okay, so I'm extremely happy you are 63 of you are here. Uh, let me welcome a very, very special person on ABCD day one after the intro session yesterday. Uh, Ms. Mallika Sarawai is here. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Didi, to be here. And uh, we all are going to learn so much from you just by your sheer presence in this group. Uh, and she is the special, special person or the guest or maybe participant, whatever we want to call it. And I really feel honored to have her here. Yeah, let's welcome her. Okay. Okay, so now we begin. I, we are on time. It's 10.31 and uh, we should begin. So let me first begin. Uh, first, let me check. I am audible, right? Just one person. Somebody can't see the video. Pradeep, uh, if you can help. Okay, huh? Okay, I'm audible. So anybody who has any query, you can put it on uh, the chat box. As Pradeep is online, Pradeep's number is there. He's uh, the IT person. He's, uh, he's there to, he's, he and his team is going to help you in case there's any technical hitch. I am not going to uh, talk about it right now, okay? Okay, 71 participants right now. I am first going to kind of sum up the intro session which we had yesterday. Uh, first, we actually talked about what is drawing. Now, drawing at large is understood as drawing on, drawing on something, drawing on paper. You're drawing by pencil, right? And for once, we I, I requested you to see drawing in a very different way. It's like it's not drawing on. It's about drawing from, like drawing water from the well. Like, you know, it's all about your eyes. With eyes, you draw from your surrounding, right? That that whole understanding changes the way you start seeing the world, right? And and all these skills that you develop by by moving this pencil on your paper, that that's that's just very small part of the larger things, right? And what at the end of this these uh, ABCD sessions, I all I all I want to is have the sheer joy, fall in love with, with drawing uh, all over again. If you have fallen in love before. Uh, and if not, then th th that's a challenge for me. I really want you to fall in love. And I'm sure most of you will. Just stick around. Uh, there will be moments where you uh, kind of get a little confused. But uh, and, and seem like, oh, nothing is happening. A little frustration would happen. But that's all part of learning anything in life, right? So that was number one. Uh, we also talked about... Uh, uh, most of the time we draw to impress somebody like, you know, we, we are seeking validation or appreciation, right? For once, let's not do that at all. Let's not do that. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's draw to learn drawing, to learn to see things. And we also talked about yesterday about the difference between looking and seeing. Now, looking is... Uh, uh, Looking like everybody looks at 
things like you look at people you look at objects around right but looking is not enough uh, you have to see things and that's that's much what you see when you see you not just look you go beyond that you you look you uh, you see you look at the texture you look at everything so many looking makes seeing right so that's that's something that i would like you to train i'll share techniques that you can use to be able to see uh, what we are going to learn we are going to learn drawing we are going to learn uh, several techniques of uh, painting uh, several mediums uh, we are also going to have some sense of composition now that will also help those who uh, you know play with their cameras you know you all figure out what is uh, a basic sense of aesthetics that you have so those are the things that we are going to learn in these sessions so now i i want you to be ready with your sketchbooks uh, and pencil right so first thing first in the sense you have to take your inhibitions off you're not drawing to show anybody nobody is going to you do not have to share it anywhere as of now right i will tell you if that is the time arrives when you can actually share your things right now if you feel like sharing i'm not stopping you but the purpose of whatever you draw is not to show somebody right it's for yourself so take out any kind of sketchbook or notebook even ruled will do right what you have to do is take your pencil whatever pencils i have a slightly better pencil uh, this is a charcoal pencil uh, but that i i'll use an ordinary pencil i think that will be good uh, i'll introduce you with uh, uh, my colleague govind uh, many of you who, are, who have been my friends for many years knows him uh, govind helps me always he has been there with me for more than 20 years now uh, govind can you just come here he's govind and uh, hello yeah so uh, he's 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 my friend and colleague uh, for, for for about 20 years now yeah okay many people are saying uh, from arpit to manakshi to pratik saying uh, uh, even malika didi saying hi so uh, so govind is going to be around he's going to help me help us in uh, delivering all this yeah okay so first thing first one important lesson that i have talked about yesterday is the biggest problem with drawing is we start expressing ourselves on paper in terms of outlines of things right and outlines is 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 that's where the problem happens we stop seeing things when you see things things do not exist in terms of their outlines right and we almost feel a uh, uh, a compulsive like necessity to to put things in terms of outlines because a uh, things exist in three dimension we have to convert in two dimension like a piece of paper or canvas so therefore we have to kind of put it that that whole compulsive notion that you have you have to slightly do away with it and think about in two dimensional also you can actually put things the way they exist in terms of the texture in terms of the light falling on it in terms of the objects they have okay okay so now uh, for example i'll i'll draw a few things what you have to do is i assume you are at home right and you have access to limited things now you actually uh, uh, after i give a little demo you have to go uh, to to your dining table or kitchen pick up one object it could be a teapot it could be uh, some kind of con container which is slightly interesting right in terms of shape not in terms of the texture or little detailing that do not look at the detailing right now but the shape if the shape is interesting just take that yeah let light fall on it from one side keep it in a place where it is visible and you have to draw a gesture drawing now now let me emphasize on the point what where i'm saying gesture drawing now gesture doesn't stay for long you see dancers they actually flow in in the space right and they they are constantly moving at the the time they move the whole gesture kind of each and every moment is saying something right even that object when is there in on, on, on in a space it has a gesture right and when the light falls on it it reaches your eyes in a particular way okay and all you have to do is and it changes you, you turn it around you change the light you turn around 
and everything so gesture drawing and these are not going to be more than two three minutes drawing now you do not have to draw much of details that's a nice breeze coming i hope my this least disturbance in terms of audio if it is then i'll have to change it this is a place where we have uh, uh, lots of breeze okay so uh, okay so I'll, I'll draw a few things right now in front of you and uh, uh, all you have to do is just notice it for a moment uh, govind did find some pieces of charcoal and i am going to basically draw with this um, i'll draw an object i'll draw what do i draw okay i'll draw a, a teapot and i'll take exactly about 2 to 2 and a half minutes to do that right so suppose you you first thing is first if you have a that's something that is on top of it and this i'm making it slightly bigger so that you can actually see it there those who can't see right now it's slightly light because i'm drawing with the pencil right now i'll soon be drawing with now it has some gesture okay so there's a teapot out there is it visible to people okay no wait no our pitch says no i will make it prominent I hope this is visible now. So this is a gesture like you'll have this reflection whatever you see from around right and you have things like this so whatever whatever you see and and the other things i talked about yesterday you have to remember those things i'll just repeat that for those who have joined today i'm going to repeat all those so this basically is something like this so you can, you can do it with pencil so there's a so this is a gesture drawing of a teapot okay so i'm i'm using this term just for drawing the purpose so this is well that's visible very nice now okay was that visible thank you so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil chalk charcoal whatever you have and try pastel why not now try to do quick two minute just a drawing of things right and uh, i'm going to also keep a count i'm not i, I at this point of time i am not opening your video and your audio right now so that i am visible uh, i am audible to all of you audible is being more important than being visible because instructions are important here uh, okay so 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 i am um, giving you one minute time right now go and pick up anything if not just pick up a spoon even spoon has a beautiful texture and gesture and shape right pick up anything that you have in your house don't break it huh <laughs> take a minute go around and pick up so you can even pick up a dustbin if you like it right uh if you have a lota if you have any jug if you have a any teapot uh, just pick it up and and come back yeah somebody can't hear uh, just reach out to pradeep pradeep's number is there on the chat box is to assist you on uh, the technical part others your time has started now why 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 yeah tanmay good morning i can see many familiar names there hi rebecca hello sheetal junaid nice to see you here same here tanmay say hello to meher also okay so 30 seconds more 30 seconds more pavni is not able to hear uh please reach out to pradeep people you have 15 seconds more to pick up some object 
हेलो रविंदर जी पीपल फाइव मोर सेकेंड्स आई लव डूइंग दिस काउंट डाउन those who are familiar with abcd the those who have participated in abcd in the past they know how i love how much i love this countdowns okay i think you have found things can you can you answer this have you have you okay caesars yes why not it will do yes hello sapna fantastic okay there's so many yes great okay now i'm going to keep time i'm going to give you 3 minutes initially uh for the first two drawings right uh do not draw very small try to make it as big as as big as your uh notepad or sketchbook or the paper that you have allows you to do right make it as big as possible much bigger than the object also if need be right so yeah your time starts now see i'm actually keeping a time here right i'm giving you 3 minutes and i'll keep giving you instructions you're not looking at me now i'm you're only going to listen to me in all this time right the time starts now you'll share the drawings with me uh i will see the drawings at some point of time uh do not worry about it right now you just do the drawing yeah i'll tell you how i'm going to see your drawing yesterday i tried but then there was a lot of noise uh i just wanted to avoid that and we're going to have another session uh and before that i'm going to get all the drawings from you just click that picture and you can send it to me okay 30 seconds gone you have uh, two and a half more minutes okay just keep keep drawing start from any point of time keep your hands on the paper keep moving it keep going back and forth every time you move your uh, pencil you are actually subconsciously you are actually also measuring it look at the texture of the thing that you are doing right look at look at the light how the light is falling on it right and uh, all those things are going to basically you more you see more you put stress on your eyes yeah to suddenly start taking shape uh, give more effort to it you have one minute done you have two more minutes for doing that and and continue doing whatever you are doing yeah and then just keep just keep your hands moving do not do not stop at any point of time right hmm so one must one must always draw draw with the eyes when one cannot draw with pencil right and learning to draw is really a matter of learning to see to see correctly and it's not about merely looking at things it's about seeing right mm. salvador dali once said drawing is the honesty of the art there is no possibility of cheating it is either good or bad yeah so how much time you had you had 2 minutes you have one more minute uh i repeat yesterday i talked about it this is not a creativity class huh? this is not a creativity class you are not imagining anything right it this is only drawing whatever you are seeing in front of you there's absolutely zero imagination yeah you are drawing to enjoy you're not drawing to show it to anybody to get validation yeah Okay, I'll introduce to another very interesting person. Let me finish it off. You have fifteen more seconds. Fifteen more seconds. This is a big fifty-four acre campus, and we are just handful of people here, and we are locked down here happily, uh, enjoying our days. Okay, your time is up. Three minutes up. Okay, I am going to look at this drawing. just just think in the sense ki you, you this is one drawing that is something that am i audible to people I have to keep che checking yes fantastic uh raju bhai raj sir raju so a very very important person who is behind Hi, designing this campus mr raju pujari and and say hello to raju yeah hello 
Thank well, you, Rajesh. Nice program. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this. Uh, It's a very beautiful campus. I'm going to show you everything. And and uh, Raju Bhai is one person who's behind this. Okay. Now, uh, wait. So you have you have drawn an object that you found in your house. Now there's so much in that, right? I want you to draw the same object. Now put it in a slightly different gesture. Now change the gesture, right? Your spoon or the glass or the pot is a dancer. Is a performer right in front of you, right? Just change it a bit, change the gesture, or maybe you change your position a bit. Just keep listening to me. You do not have to look at me at all. I can I can switch off my video, and you do not have to look at me at all, right? Transparent was okay. Pallavi is asking trans transparent was. Of course you can, but it's slightly difficult because there's so much of reflection and refraction in that. No, uh, if you have to train yourself a little more. Take something just simple. Uh, a cup, a teacup, a spoon, simple things are much better. So therefore, do not take anything that is transparent. I should have instructed that in the beginning. But yes, you have an orange, fantastic. Spray bottle, Himshika, nice. Hello, Fabi. Great. So your time starts now for the second drawing. Three minutes drawing the same thing. Use your pencil or your charcoal to get the gesture. Huh? Somebody has a beer mug. Cheers. Water bottle. Yes, that's one of the most uh, uh, important things in our house. Pen holder. Yes. Nail polish. Fantastic. Sanitizer bottle. I think we have too many of them in our houses now. <laughs> Rajeshwari, cheers. Steel bottle. Now, steel bottle, of course, yes, why not? It will have a lot of reflection, including you will be able to see yourself also if you actually uh, look, uh, if you see it carefully, right? Not just look at it. Okay. I think I'll have to change the position a bit. The sun is coming. Okay, so... Um, Okay, continue. You have two more minutes. I'll change my position a bit. You have two more minutes. Just continue trying. Huh? Okay. So start from any point, draw it as big as possible. And uh, you know, it, do not do not try avoiding drawing in terms of outlines. There's much more to it, yeah. Just draw anything but the outline to begin with. You'll start seeing much more. You'll be actually seeing so much in that. That little object has so much of drawing in it. Yeah. What to do with this drawing? You keep the drawing with you as of now. I'm going to look at it much later, not now. These are baby steps that you're taking. Huh? Uh, a major part of this whole ABCD sessions are going to be a lot of unlearning. The way we see drawing. We're going to have, we have to look at drawing very, very differently. Yeah. Somebody doesn't have a drawing book or a pencil. Uh, well, that's uh, you need a pencil. Without pencil, you won't be able to uh, uh, kind of draw anything. Pencil, definitely you need. Uh, you have to be an artist to be able to draw without a pencil because uh, drawing is about seeing. But it's okay. Just I, I don't think that's a much difficult task to figure out pencil from somewhere. Get some paper. That's about it. Nothing else you need. Okay, you have one more minute to finish the second drawing. There's something interesting has happened while you are drawing. We are 100 participants already right now. 
and uh, mostly from this part of the world i have uh, started another session from today evening there will be another session for people who are from the other side of the globe yeah so that nobody has to wake up in vrs or maybe like stay awake till very late yeah we are 100 participants and that's really really pleasing i'm thankful to all of you to be part of this okay 15 more seconds and you should be done with your second drawing Mm, Gitanjali, I don't know I, if I can repeat everything. Uh, you probably have to go through the recording of this session. Try to be on time, please. We start on time. I'm not going to delay even 30 seconds any day. That's my promise from my side. Please be there two minutes or three minutes before the scheduled time. All of you, we all are going to help each other then. Yes. So uh, your time is up. I hope you have uh, actually. Uh, on the second you're done with the second drawing yep i mean if you're done with the second drawing like both the drawings and what do you feel can i can i can i can some of you express your feelings in the sense oh uh, done couldn't finish it's okay not to finish it's fine it's fine okay completed done dissatisfied no problem at all you do not have to you're not seeking validation you don't have to satisfy anybody including yourself right just keep moving your hand uh, from the childhood actually we have been uh, there, there's a lot of stigma around expressing ourselves visually yeah right from your parents says no when you actually start expressing something on the wall uh, to your even even your drawing teacher like they actually tell you this is how things should be and anything other than this is not good right anyway so couldn't finish it doesn't matter it's okay not to finish huh? you but but then yeah listen you do not give yourself endless time it's okay not to finish right put a stop watch now this is the technique that you have to practice right? put a stop watch put a beep at the end of 3 minutes right make it as big as possible see the shadow see the texture based on that keep moving your hand right uh, i'll show you probably another drawing uh, that will also help you uh, in trying to uh, kind of understand what exactly i'm trying to say uh, okay somebody is saying getting the perspective right you know what you know we actually burden ourselves too much with this technical words right we will talk about perspective do not do not think about proportions this is this is one terrible thing mera proportion theek nahi hua this is a usual expression right doesn't matter proportion means nothing it will happen right it will happen you know when you cook something that also is all all about proportions right it happens when you actually keep doing it over a period of time okay i have no idea how to do shading but i'm hopeful i'll learn of course yes of course yes great now i'll show you a little demo now uh, the second demo and after that i'll ask you to draw again uh, some other object this time yeah Okay, here I am. Let me put my sketch closet by my easel closet to you. Chale, I'll go. Super, thanks. Okay, fantastic. Mudras are slightly easier, <laughs> Aditi. Okay. see uh again when we try and draw somebody we, we actually end up looking at that person we we actually look at that person in all dimensions but we end up making a two dimensional uh, drawing out of it one of the reason is actually in the, in the childhood when in the standard 1 or 2 we have drawings of all the great leaders or thinkers mahapurush jinko bolte 
and then uh, most of these are drawn in terms of outlines. And that's where I think that gets inside us. Okay, people has to be in terms of outline. Huh? Now, you see how things happen. I'll, I'll try and draw if I have to draw a human being here. Uh, okay, let's have a vote. Uh, child or an adult or an old person. What do you want me to draw? Adult, 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 okay. Female or a male? Somebody says child, old person. Oh my God, that's two variety. So anyway, so I'll start with adult and I'll also make a child and an old person, okay? I'll make a female adult, okay? This, fantastic. Female adult. Okay, so, so. Uh, okay, before I actually make, let me uh, talk about some basics, fundamentals, how a skull is basically. We have a skull like this, right? Yes, you can see that, right? We have a skull like this. Now, the skull remains the same. Skull remains the same. What happens is during the childhood, our whole gesture, Okay, so that's it, the whole thing is different in the childhood. And then when we become become slightly grown up, what happens is you have these gestures coming in. Features become much sharper, right? So this is this is the difference that happens, huh? The child and slightly adult. Uh, Now, slightly more grown up, like full adult. Features will get sharper and that's how it is. You can always add hair and other things. That's, that's not a problem. Now, the same thing happens with the old person, but how the whole thing changes, let's see. Okay, you can see this. So in the old person, what would happen is you have these features coming in here. Then you have Okay, so You see all these features, the, the way changes has happened. The nose, the whole form of the nose goes downwards, right? And and then whole. So you know what? This 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 you just have to remember this to practice a bit and understand this. So there'll be more lines here, the old man. And and so that's that's how it is more adult. And this is like more of, uh, see the chick here, right? Anyway, so so this is this is how it is, right? This you have to remember a bit. Then I am going to talk about. Okay, many person wants me to draw. Right. This is how it is. This is this you do not. This is not how you draw. This is what you keep inside your mind. What you draw, I'm going to show you now. What you're going to draw is you're not going to draw in terms of outlines anymore. Yeah. Okay. So you 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 see a person like you know, how how do you see a person you Look at like which angle you want of that person to happen, right? So, so supposing you want to draw a person who is so you basically start drawing the way that not in terms of outline, but in terms of light and shadow of how things are, right? This is one thing that you have to remember how 
everything is connected. I'm not lifting my pencil. I'm not lifting my charcoal from this whole game. Right? So I'm just looking at the light and shadow of this like whole game. There's a lot of light and shadow falling, okay? Of any individual, they'll be slightly different from each other. Fundamentals will be, the basics will be the same, similar, if not same. Okay. I hope you're able to see all this. So the portions which are where the light won't fall, that will get darker, right? If the light is not falling, so it's much more darker, yeah. And it's just another person, is no specific person here. Where the neck part, because the light is not falling inside, so it'll it'll be much darker anyway. So this is how things happen. Here. So what, what I'm doing is I'm constantly moving my thing, my charcoal, okay? Okay. So, so, so. Now that's about it. What I want you to do now is uh, attempt to draw anybody who is there out around you, right? You actually uh, will have, uh, it need not be human beings all the time. If you have pet, nothing like it, because pet actually, you know, they, they'll have all the time for you. If they're sitting there, they can actually be, I believe, just a minute. The sun falling on this, even the sun falling on the camera. So that's the reason why. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I think we are towards the end, the last uh, few minutes that we have, three to four minutes. Okay, now, now I can, I can hear, uh, uh, I can, I can read some of the comments saying good drawing strokes. Do not bother. These are not strokes at all. Think about. Just keep moving. There is no rule you do not, that need not be vertical or horizontal. Just it, it can go from left to right, top to bottom, anywhere to anywhere, right? This is a method in madness. That method you will find, right? First, be mad. Just be crazy. Let's free our hands. The first few sessions are going to be about you know unshackling those those ideas of of drawing, so that we see drawing in a completely new light. Okay, pun intended. <laughs> okay now mm, no 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 nothing from memory oh wait 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 nothing from memory that you are going to draw this is not about creativity if you <laughs> if you're following my instruction do not draw from anywhere either from memory or from like somebody else's drawing you're basically drawing from real life right not even from the like, computer and images as of now i'll tell you when right now pick up a 3D object, any object or a person, and what you do is try and make uh, something out of it, okay? Okay, I believe the sun has come. To tomorrow I'll be uh, uh, in a slightly different, now Govind is actually holding this, else I'll be blurred. Okay, with this, I think we're in the last one minute. I Any comments that you have, uh, if you want me to answer, I, I am not switching on your audio or video now today because of the disturbance we had yesterday. We'll just be one way communication to begin with. As of now, I'm going to look at all your drawing. I'm going to email you now personally. It has been automated mail that you have got. Uh, Pallavi says, how to make nose and lips. Okay, 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 now very important. You have to forget the idea of what is nose and what are eyes. Do not see these things as separate things. You're not drawing eyes. You're just seeing whatever, whatever is there. You're being very honest to yourself. You're not not telling yourself, 
you're so honest to yourself that you're not even telling yourself that that I'm drawing eyes, right? You're drawing an object which is right in front of you. The way it is looking, you are just pretending to capture that, right? So do not, the whole idea of nose is different from what it is in front of you. The idea of eyes is different in your mind than what it is right in front of you. Draw what is in front of you, right? I can't see anybody. I right now I am I'm not because I, there, there are 94 participants and it's very difficult for me to concentrate and we have very limited time. Everybody's time is precious. Mm, what should be the ideal distance between the object and that's a fantastic question. Okay, so so something where it is comfortable for you, probably a hand distance, like uh, uh, three feet, two feet. That's a good distance for smaller objects. If you have bigger objects, then that's even far uh, from you. That's perfectly fine. There's no problem with that, right? Uh, what is drawing uh, a real object difficult than drawing it? There's nothing called difficult and easy. Yeah, <laughs> you draw, you enjoy. Everything will happen. Yeah? And if you do not draw, everything is difficult. So that is going to happen, right? Pets, yes. Pets, yes. Of course, yes. How to draw? Well, just be around with me. You'll be able to know how to draw. Yeah. Just be around for, for these few days of lockdown. The day lockdown is over, we are done, by the way. You will be in a stage where you'll actually uh, love expressing yourself visually. That's the only thing. Yeah? I'll take one more minute. How to access recording? Uh, we're trying to figure out. Most probably we'll be able to send you recordings, uh, today's recording. Today. <laughs> Ritika's naughty pet move. It'll keep moving and that, that's even better because they'll give you exactly whatever, like not exactly, but very little time to draw. Quickly draw and then move on from there, right? Simple toy, why not? Uh, what should be the basics of drawing? Basics of drawing is whatever you see, try and capture in whatever ways you want, right? Not the existing ways, the way your drawing teacher has taught you, no. Just figure out your own ways. We all are different human beings. We have different pair of eyes. We see things differently from each other, right? And then that's what uh, water bottle, yes. How to do symmetry. Again, another Srijit says how to do symmetry from the left and right of a symmetry. You do not have to bother about it, no. You're not drawing to impress anybody, not even yourself. So what you're drawing is you just try and see, do not try to Try to attempt proportion, symmetry, line quality. Forget about all these. Perspective. These are terminologies. We'll, we'll, we'll see when it's needed. Now, right now, just unleash yourself from all these notions. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> try to draw me. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. So I think with this, uh, we are at 11.13 right now. Okay, we have two more minutes. 11.15 is when it ends. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, first of all, thank you so much. Thank you, Didi, for coming today. Hope to see you uh, as often. You, I know you're extremely busy. And uh, if you can find some time to come sometimes, if you come frequently, nothing like it. And if not, then at least come sometime to encourage all of us. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. It was a great session. Enjoy. Thank you so much to you too. I tried to draw my dad and if he had a mustache. <laughs> Ask your dad to grow a mustache. <laughs> Do not imagine anything, by the way. But you draw only what you see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. I think this is extremely, we have we still have 92, 91 participants. And that, that actually means a lot that all of you actually came. Please continue drawing. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm going to email it to you. And I'm going to tell you what to do with these drawings, right? As of now, you do not have to show anybody, not even to me, right? Just, just, just let it be there. Let it be there in that piece of paper. And, and uh, just, uh, I think that that's, that's good enough, okay? Okay, Pallavi says, thanks, Govind. Aarti says, thanks. Okay, so thank you so much. It was wonderful uh, with you. Hope I was audible throughout today and there was no uh, sound disturbances. I will be in some different location tomorrow and I'm going to teach something new tomorrow, right? Meanwhile, just practice drawing objects. 
uh, pets, human beings, in the way they are, in the way the light is falling, the way it is happening. Just try and capture that, okay?